it's hard to overemphasize the value and the fun that having a new firmware waiting for you in your Tesla Model 3 or or any Tesla. What that's like uh, when your car is parked in the garage, uh, you're probably joined to your Wi-Fi in your home and it can download a bundle and what a nice surprise. So I heard about the dash cam viewer and that's what I'm going to show today. And I'm actually going to show you uh, some different media I have here, like the popular uh, Samsung drive, as well as a thumb drive that's in there right now, which is not appropriate for videos, but I was experimenting recently in the last few days. So I'm going to start with that. And uh, here's the release notes. You can see uh, in 4K glory here, the dash cam viewer release notes, uh, along with um, out of order supercharger stall information. And then previous release notes, Bluetooth. That was actually a big one, getting in and out of the car during work-related phone calls. Okay, so the dash cam feature, it talks about, um, you know, tapping on the upper right to use it. So let's go for it. There we go. All right, now we're on Mars and I'm ready to tap here and turn on sentry mode. Cool. Or turn it back off. Great. Now let's get to what you really want me to show you. And that is dash cam. Okay, save footage. Let's go ahead and save some footage. It just saved it. Car must be in park to view. My car is in park, so I should be able to view. Launch viewer. I'm on hardware three on a 2018 Tesla Model 3. Oh dear. <laughs> um, my garage isn't really beautiful. Oh well, let's try some other views. That's better. My wife's Model 3 at 2020, and my uh, 40 amp charger there on the wall. Cool. This is uh, snappy so far. Rear view. Okay, completely different color cast. Not much to see there. Okay, awesome. Now, there's playback here, right? We can scrub through, but there's not a whole lot going on in this footage, so let's go to the little lines there, and that lets me... Um, see when I was actually out and about, which is uh, more rare these days. Okay, this only goes back to March 12th. Let's see what I was up to there. Nice. Front, rear, right. Oh man, this is slick. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't really scrub, but nice. This is not this is not a drive that's intended for video, really. So I'm surprised we're not seeing more drop frames or turning green or, or whatever. So it's holding up quite nicely. I'm impressed so far. First impressions. Let's go back to uh, today. Um, interesting. All right, that's showing all, but the latest is April 5th. But it's April 7th. How about we go to Sentry folder? Okay, I only turned on sentry mode briefly. Um, dash cam is front only. Okay. Let's go back and see that. All right, pedestrian. I thought I heard uh, someone say something about location to locate footage. But I'm not really uh, seeing any evidence of that. But maybe I'm missing something, and there's the pedestrian. Now let's suppose we want to, uh, I don't know, go back to something like this where I'm simply parked, and absolutely nothing happened. Well, nothing exciting. All right, I'm at Sam's Club, where they seem to be missing certain paper products. Let's hit delete. All right, let's go on. How about launching a viewer? Can we see files on the roadie? The answer appears to be yes. I have no idea where this was. Let's move along. There I am at a Tesla supercharger. That looks like Middletown, Connecticut. And actually, uh, someone cut me off pretty spectacularly that day. So that was February 27th. And um, that's the only footage of half of the day, but it's 10 minutes, so we can scrub from beginning to end for when I was trying to leave that place and things went a little weird. There it is. Whoa, that's me. Okay. It's me getting in the car. Okay, that was a little jarring. Might be it. So it doesn't really scrub footage, right? I slide, I have to let go until I see the footage updated. So that's not ideal. Just saw a green flash there. Here we go. 
Enjoy the show. This is the front view. And a car is going to come in the exit. Whoa. Good thing I stopped when I did. All right, let's try it a little further. Okay, we're going to cut over to front view. So did I catch the truck? Uh, the right camera? Not to the areas. All right. And there he is, out the front, going past the Duncan drive through the wrong way as well. Oh, well. <laughs> And if sentry mode had gone off saying there's a, something happened while you were parked, you just tap on it and it would bring up the viewer, which is awesome. So to close um, and summarize what my findings were playing with different flash devices, I'll just say that the Samsung here, the T5, works like a champ once I reformat it for FAT32, and I made a test the cam folder. Works fine for reads and writes. The record light went on. Um, but the roadie uh, does not. I can play back from the roadie which is what you're seeing right now, but it will not record. It has a little extra, all right? So dash cam is grayed out. So yeah, not sure what to make of that or, or why, but um, maybe an update to the, you know, roadie, we'll go ahead and address that. Might not be that big a deal, not really sure. Uh, take a look at Try Roadie Twitter handle, at Try Roadie, and you'll see some exciting announcements he's made recently about some uh, ability to view footage from the car while you're, say, at home on the Wi-Fi, so someone else is driving, for instance. Pretty cool stuff. Obviously, it requires hotspotting to get some uh, data from the roadie to your home, so some uh, tricks there. Um, <laughs> I have my security questions and thoughts, but uh, I don't even know how he's doing yet. I just saw a tweet, so something to look, at, that I'll look into and think about and consider. And maybe the partition where he's saving it could be formatted with a different, newer version of the file system. I guess he's using FAT32 on a Raspberry Pi and Linux. And maybe it'll just suddenly, you know, work again with the next release of uh, Roadie firmware. So this might not be a big deal to fix. So meanwhile, Roadie playback working. The files on the Roadie are fine. Just can't record new dash cam footage with this 2020 firmware called 2020.12.5. So 2020.12.5 is not liking the Roadie, but otherwise it'll work flawlessly. Uh, but again, the point of this video was really just to show dash cam viewing. I just happen to learn a little more than just that tonight. So thanks again. And thanks for visiting tankertry.com forward slash Tesla. You get a whole collection of many articles I've written about the car.